Okay, it's been a couple of weeks I've been gone. I'm back here now in Whitecourt, Alberta, and this is the scaffold they're using, the gi giraffe scaffold. They've got six racks of it they bought for this job. And if I come inside here, you can see they're setting it up. We're, we have the 10-foot uh, scaffold. They're now putting the planks on top of it. And what it consists of is uh, a foot that looks like this. We have a couple of pegs, and we're going to put two more in yet because it goes up, scaffold bracket clicks on like this, and once we're done, we're gonna go up with two poles on the outside here, and that's gonna go up and allow us to go up, this one allows us to go up to 20 foot high. We're only going 18, so we'll have those sticking up over the top a little bit. So they are five rows high right now. They're gonna go another two rows. That'll bring us to the top of that scaffold, stiff back, I guess we call it, and place concrete, and then we're going to do a second lift up to 18 foot high off the ground. Okay, we're in the back of the building here, and um, you can see that one tall scaffold there on the one side of that one big opening. Those are 14 foot by 16 foot openings. They used LVL to create them, and the man doors going between them is also created with LVLs. On this side is the office area, and it's got a lot of openings, a lot of windows, just a couple of doors with a lot of windows, and you can see they used LVL as well. And uh, the, the bottom is facing up. They use two two by fours that allows the concrete to get in between during concrete placement. They have the openings cut in the foam already, so these are ready to just be flipped up into the wall. This wall here is only six inch concrete, because it's only going 10 foot above grade. Uh, the walls in the back here are 8 inch concrete. They're going 18 foot above grade. So that will be um, the way that they're doing this building here. Okay, we have all the scaffold completed and the block is up to the top of the scaffold, which means we're finished with the block. And now if I look over here, we put a couple of vertical bar in. It's going to stick out two foot above where we're going to place concrete. We're going to place concrete about halfway up that tie and then carry on with the build to the top two foot above these openings. So if I come back over here, you can see the openings. We're going to be two foot above that, the big openings, 18 foot high above grade. And with these scaffold, we have this bracket that's clipped on with two gravity pins and those three quarter inch bolts then just get tightened up and it sucks everything together and makes it all aligned so that it becomes one pole and that way we can go up to 20 foot high. Uh, one thing with that that we found because we're using the um, hex headed sheet metal screws we need to put those in on the eight inches down from the top of the wall and that will allow this to go in place without any interference. Otherwise on the back side of it the uh, screw head interfered with it, so you just got to be down eight inches and think ahead on that one. And that's about it. Very easy build. If you look down, you can see that the vertical, I mean the horizontal rebar, is on either side of the center hole. This is the center hole here, right there, and we went on either side back and forth, staggering all the way up the wall, and then our vertical rebar just weaves down in between that, and that keeps it in place during concrete placement so we're guaranteed it's going to be in the right spot. Very easy build.